A while back, someone asked Google's new AI search how to stop cheese from sliding off. The answer, add glue. That's when we realized the internet wasn't just wrong, it was hallucinating with confidence. Pages that once linked to people now loop back into machines quoting other machines. And if you look closely, the web still moves, but it doesn't blink anymore. The next transformative development of picture sharing application. A place where you view pictures that coincide with your spiritual life. It is the true digitalization of real life. We lived on farms and then we lived in cities and now we're going to live on the internet. But what if this is evolution's afterlife, a system that outlived its users? And tell me if this doesn't sound familiar. You search for something, anything, and everything looks the same. The fonts change, the sentences don't. Because most of what we're reading now wasn't written for us, it was written by bots for bots. And that's why this isn't about technology dying, it's about humanity quietly leaving the chat. If the web was once our collective memory, what happens when it starts dreaming without us? And we're standing right at that shift, when curiosity got automated, search results became summaries, pages became training data, and while we stopped clicking, the internet kept talking mostly to itself. And here's the truth hiding in plain sight. More than half of web traffic now comes from bots. AI writes, optimizes, summarizes while we scroll through a simulation of conversation. That isn't collapse, it's autopilot. So what if the internet isn't dying from noise, but from imitation? And if automation writes the words we read, what happens to the meaning we make it. From search engines that stop needing clicks to pages written for AI eyes only and find what's still alive beneath the static. Because the first sign of a dying internet isn't silence, it's the echo pretending to be human. 